has a for sale sign on it. I didn't want to sell the RS3. Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today, well, welcome to a video which is sad but also exciting at the same time. I've just arrived at a location called Richter Sport Apt. You may have seen I bought an RS3 about a year ago. Did a full conversion, wheels, bodywork, engine mods, you name it, we did it. In this video, there's gonna be some news, what's going on with that, but also a surprise new addition to my garage. So stay tuned, it is all to come in this video. And we have come down today in obviously the X5M competition. It has not gone anywhere. It's a flipping awesome bit of kit and uh, I do love it. It's not going anywhere just yet. I need to lock it because the lights seem to just stay on We're up before you lock it but it is flipping awesome. We have what's probably getting converted, and that is an RS3, is that a Vorsprung? Yes, it is a Vorsprung. So this is an RS3 Saloon Vorsprung in this very nice color indeed. Fun fact for you all, if you actually went to order a new Audi RS3, you can't do it. They have closed the order books, which means that these are probably gonna hold price even better now because you cannot order a new Audi RS3. Forget it over not happening so that's a uh, slightly crazy and what we have here is an rs q8 s so you have the rs q8 r and this is the rs q8 s the one just below you have an rs6 s and you have an rs6 r i believe am i wrong i might be wrong anyway rs6 rs q8 s rs q8 r um and this has a very cool vented bonnet how nice is that bonnet that looks truly 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 insane doesn't it very cool you got the very nice wheels you got all this stunning carbon at the front as well so yeah very nice indeed and that is up for two hundred and four thousand pounds well two hundred and five thousand pounds basically but it obviously has a hell of a lot that's been done to the car. sq8 which I filmed already, that's £106,000. And then we have my car, which is just here, and it has a for sale sign on it. It's not ideal, I know some of you are gonna go mad at me, but there's a reason why this car is departing me. And uh, it doesn't have a front number on it at the moment. But yes, there is something very, very special which is imminent in the next couple of weeks, which I'm gonna reveal in this video, which means that I cannot keep both cars. I personally love the RS3, it's been completely brilliant, but something is about to happen. Decided to step it up a level again. So if you are interested, make sure you contact the guys here. It's up for 92,995. Again, please do not worry why the car is so expensive. It is that expensive because I'm gonna tell you right now. And guys, make sure before we get going even further in this video, you are using Car Vertical and use my discount code just on the screen, just here. It is a game changer. If you bought a car and you wanna know the car's history, you need to sign up. It might be in an accident, it might have a mileage discrepancy, it might have been used as a stolen vehicle, a taxi, you name it, but Car Vertical bring up all of the car's history. Here we have an example. You can see straight away, the car has been in an accident. And the best part is it has a full graph for the mileage, and also if it's been in an accident, it shows you here, the damage and where the damage is and also evaluation it's a game changer it is a complete game changer and when we scroll down we can see the damage and well it's pretty insane let's be honest in terms of how damaged this vehicle is is bonkers and if you were going to buy it or you bought it then you have an a problem which you can sort. And if you're just about to buy it, you probably wouldn't buy it unless you want a serious project on your hands. But use the code Archie when using Car Vertical and you will get your discount. Go and sign up, enjoy. It was about 60 grand when I bought it, but it also has had the full apt conversion, which then takes it to one of 200. Obviously all the things I've done, which is the carbon, the carbon there, the forged wheels, which are a complete game changer as well. And on the back, it's also been lowered also. On the back, you can see it's also had different bits and pieces, which is there. We have the carbon, which is here. On the interior, we also have the customized interior, RS3R. It's really sad, I hate saying goodbye to cars, but this is a goodbye. It is a goodbye. I've done the full conversion. I've not really had the time to use it and enjoy it, I know that 
but times move on and we have a big project which is about to be unveiled. And personally, I hate saying goodbye to cars. It's not something I enjoy doing, but wait till you see. Right, shall I talk to you about what the hell's going on and why I am selling the RS3? Well, let's get to it, shall we? Let's get to the chase. Well, I didn't want to sell the RS3 and there was some news which came um, not that long ago and I didn't want to mention it until it was all literally official, official, official. In January, an RS6 performance was announced. It was a bit of a soft launch. It was... Yeah, not really Audi-like, but it was a bit of a soft launch and the RS6 performance was announced. It was quicker, um, it had upgraded wheels and so many upgraded interior. You can now order a carbon Vorsprung, not just a Vorsprung. You can order all these little things. But I was like, I heard that it was going to be a limited run car. You can't just sort of buy one. So I was like, well, how am I going to get hold of one of them? I basically called Tepri Audi and I said, guys, if you can get hold of me one, I will have it it's probably going to be a no because we're in January and it's, it's probably going to be a no. And weeks and weeks and weeks went on and they, in the end, managed to get it sorted. And my car arrives in four to five weeks time. I have pretty much the UK's first, I think it is the UK's first customer delivered RS6 performance. I know you're thinking he's going to bought another RS6, but this is the last ever petrol rs6 which is ever going to exist before we go full electric it's going to be a special car it's going to be a car i can actually use and do like track days with and um take it to the nurburgring and actually the opportunity to take the uk's first rs6 performance i wasn't going to turn it down right guys what we have directly in front of us is a clip of the new rs6 performance this is the gray color with the gold wheels as you can see the new wheels are insane. My car is going to have the new wheels for a fact because mine is a carbon Vorsprung car. That's all I'm giving you. I'm not giving you any more spec on the car, but let's have a little more of a closer look. I personally love this spec, but I wanted to go for something a little bit different. So mine is not going to look like this, but it does look mega. Obviously it looks kind of standard to how it is, but I love the sort of matte carbon that it has also. That's a really nice feature. And then when we actually look inside the car, I want to show you something because I want to show you the interior when we go right here. We can open the car up and have a little look. It's got this incredible Alcantara, red stitching. I just think it's flipping epic. Epic, epic. RS performance on the floor, just lovely. But I personally think all the interior it has is so nice. It's a game changer. So this is an RS6S. This is not the performance. This is something which intrigues me because this is the last petrol RS6 which is ever going to exist. I believe, and I cannot confirm, that these guys, Apt, are going to do something special. I don't know for sure, but let's be honest. They are going to do something for it, aren't they? Because they just always have nailed it with these sorts of cars and I wanted to do that sort of thing. You might be thinking that's mad because the car's already started at 125 grand and putting the kit on it is gonna take it to a lot more, but I wanna create something special and I think this could be the one. This is an S, so this is not the R. I'm going to be doing, hopefully, the RS6R and that would be the full, full, full shebang. It will be expensive, but it will be worth it in terms of how unique that car will be. So the R will be slightly different to this, I believe. Here we have different carbon bits which are on the top which already make the car look good. I'm hoping that mine would have a rear diffuser on the car. Um, I'm not gonna confirm color to you guys and what color I have gone for with my car, um, but you obviously get the upgraded wheels. This car, as you can see, has been lowered. It has an incredible stance to it as well. It's something I've just always wanted to do. I see so many of these online and I've never, I've never done it, okay? 
and this is just something which I want to do. The fact I would have one of the first ones in the world if I did it, probably, because how many other people are going to have RS6 performance in about four or five weeks? Probably not many people is another reason as well. Got a one-off unique car. It's not happening again, okay? It's not happening again. It is the end. Okay, it's expensive. It's very, very expensive, but the content which I made with the RS3, you guys have loved it and you said, you know what, that is super cool, that's super unique, we love it. I've taken that on board and if I can do it on this, we're going to do it on this. And then we have a little look in the interior. This has upgraded seats as well. You get all the sort of embroidery as you do. And I understand I might need to rob a bank to be able to do this, but for me, it's something which is a special car. It's very, very unique. And I do think that we can create something special here. I haven't quite got my head around that I have got this car coming in such a short period of time. These, if you order one tomorrow and you did get a manage to get a slot on a performance, it could take the best part of at least a year, maybe a year and a half, maybe more. It's crazy at the moment. The fact you can't even order an RS3. The moment I could get hold of a car such as this, I was like, I am not going to turn this offer down in terms of being able to allocate the car. I have to buy my cars. I've never ever been given a free car. If I get a free car, I tell you guys, and I'm like, I've got a press car for two or three months. Everything else, I buy it. Simple. And you might be thinking, well, why not just leave it stock? Yeah, I could, but if it's the last one, we need to go out with a bang and do something insane because the next one after this is an RS6 e-tron. It's not going to be petrol. It's just realistic and that is the fact. I know people that have actually seen the RS6 e-tron. It's happening. It is actually happening and, the, and we are going down that route. First thing is going to be the A6 e-tron. That is going to be the first of the 6 series A6 e-tron. Like I say, we have an RS6 performance turning up in a very short period of time and I think it's now time to get excited because I don't want to just pick a car up and wrap it and do that sort of stuff. I'm not interested. I've done it, I've done it a million and one times and you guys at home are bored and fed up of that content. I appreciate that, I read the comments and you don't want it. But what I want to do this summer is actually get this car, hopefully transform it to an R, drive it directly to the Nürburgring, film content at the Nürburgring and do stuff there. That's one of my big plans for the year is to go to the Nürburgring, track cars, drive other people's cars, use my everyday car, which will be that, and do different content. I'm not interested in the same stuff anymore. I want to up it a level and show my driving capabilities and have something which I could do that with to go to the track and do, and that's all gonna be coming soon as well. So there's a bit of a more of a story behind it as well. I, don't, I wanna do a lot at the Nürburgring this year, and I feel that this car will allow me to be able to do that. When we have one little last look at this RS6 S, Let's start getting excited guys, because not long, the new edition is going to be cut. I miss driving. Do you know what? I actually really miss driving in terms of my racing because I personally grew this channel from being a racing driver. And I want to be able to bring that content to you all. You guys don't just want to see the normal stuff. You've seen it a million one times. You've seen everyone buy every supercar under the sun. I want to do something different. So it's exciting times. Things are happening and it's time to get excited, like I say. We're upping it, we're stepping it up a level and we're gonna have a lot of fun together and you guys are coming along for the ride. So, let me know your comments down below. I'm sure you're gonna be excited for this. It's gonna be a cool string of content and hopefully we can do the full conversion as well. How cool would that be? But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Give it a thumbs up. It's gonna be a good year this year. It really, really is and you guys are all coming along. I'll see you all very soon, and soon with my new RS6 performance.